Madame Bovary was written by French author Gustave Flaubert. It tells about a woman who feels trapped in her marriage and then goes on to have multiple affairs and lead a disastrous life. It was first published in 1856 and was immediately attacked by critics for its scandalous content and was even prosecuted in France by La Revue de Paris. After, and after its acquittal, it became a bestseller and has remained a famous novel to this day. Madame Bovary is still one of the most famous novels ever written by Flaubert and has even influenced other great authors in their works, including Kate Chopin's novel, The Awakening. Flaubert begins by introducing Emma and Charles Bovary and how their relationship came to be. Charles married his first wife, Eloise, primarily for her money, but she tragically dies. Their relationship was unusual because Eloise stayed with her husband and remained a good wife to him when he was not always an upstanding husband to her. After she dies, Charles treats a patient and ends up meeting his second wife, Emma. After taking the time to grieve Eloise's death, they finally marry in a midnight wedding at her family's farm. Emma eventually becomes more and more dissatisfied with her marriage. She pretends to be happy in the marriage that she is part of, but really, as the intimacy of their life became deeper, the greater became the gulf that separated her from him. It is obvious that Emma puts up a facade in regards to her marriage. In reality, she finds herself trapped in the marriage, she, but she attempts to pull, put up a front, suggesting to the outside world that she is happy when she really isn't. She also holds resentment towards Charles because he does not see her masked unhappiness, happiness, something she believes a husband should be able to detect. It is almost pathetic to watch Emma attempt to try and create feelings for Charles as she wanted to make herself in love with him, but sadly, she is unsuccessful. When she is invited to a ball given by the Marquis family, the door is open to Emma's yearning to be part of the upper class. Flaubert describes the party with which Charles and Emma are attending as elegant and luxurious and very different from what they are used to. As Emma spends more and more time among the wealthy class, she realizes that her husband does not fit in among the other people, which makes her ashamed of Charles. Emma clearly identifies that her husband deeply cares for her, but she cannot bring herself to love him because he does, because she does not have strong feelings for him. Emma's first obsession with class and society stature begins with a party. Emma and Charles are, are invited to a ball at Charles' the patient's home. Emma loves everything about the ball and is enchanted by the luxury luxuries of wealth. Although Emma thoroughly enjoys her time at the ball, she feels like an outsider and longs to be one of them, quoting she would have liked to know about their lives, to enter into them, and to become involved with them. She is also completely embarrassed by her husband Charles, who she sees as clumsy when dancing and far from the high-class sophistication of the others. After the ball is over, Emma remains almost obsessed with and continually fantasizes about the ball. Um, Emma almost begins to live in the past. She is in constant search for the f fulfillment and happiness the ball gave her, claiming her heart was like them. The wealth had rubbed off on her, and so which was something that would never be erased. Um, Emma obsesses over small reminders of the ball as she begins to focus on a cigar case from the ball and later becomes infatuated with the romantic idea of living in Paris. Emma yearns for this fabulous and luxurious world, which, which her husband Charles cannot offer her. Charles's inability to give Emma everything she wants is one of the reasons why she forms other relationships with men and has affairs. One of these affairs is with a man named Rodolphe. Rodolphe and Emma meet at, a, at an annual agricultural fair. Emma instantly likes Rodolphe. He's rich and handsome, and soon Emma falls for him. Although the two hold a strong physical attraction to one another, Rodolphe soon sees the relationship as nothing more than that. After a short and intense affair, Rodolphe plans to basically ditch Emma by avoiding her, thus breaking Emma's heart. Rodolphe held everything she wanted, and his absence leads Emma to fall into the depression. Emma becomes extremely ill, she begins to lose weight, and although Charles is a doctor, nothing he does seems to help her. However, during this illness, Emma has a religious awakening and becomes a devout Catholic. She begins to pray every day and becomes nicer to her husband and housemaid, Berth. Her religious attachment or her religious awakening acts as a placeholder for Rodolphe because she yearns to attach onto something that will give her happiness. However, she soon feels as if her religion does not offer her the passion she always pursued and begins to take her practice more lightly. In the end of the novel, Flaubert concludes the major themes he's introduced of search for self, finding a voice, societal oppression a woman feels, and realism versus romanticism. Emma and Leon meet again and establish a relationship in which Emma is again swept up in the romantic passion she feels must be present in a relationship. 
However, as they get to as they begin to get to know each other well, the declarations of love and the drama no longer excite either of them, and each struggles to distance himself from the other, while still clinging to the dependence and habit they have with each other. In this way, Flaubert rejects romanticism. Flaubert also discusses the societal and financial destruction of Emma. Her adulterous ways are unknown only to her naive husband, and by the rest of the public she is not well liked. Her financial situation also causes people to dislike her. Her habit of buying lavish items with money she doesn't have put her in great debt. She turns to her lovers for money, unaware that she is selling herself, but both reject her. She does not know how to handle her life, so she eats arsenic to kill herself. Her death is long, dramatic, and painful. In one instance, Emma asks for a mirror which she gazes into as if she is searching for herself, and does not seem to find the answer because she begins crying and looks away. Therefore, Flaubert seems to insinuate that she never finds herself. She dies, but she dies with weight upon her, as if she were not free in her death, and that she will never be free. The book ends with the death of Charles, which leaves their daughter penniless, and sent to work, and she is sent to work in a cotton factory. In this way, Flaubert says that life continues on despite these dramatic events that have taken place, and the world is an unforgiving place in which children must suffer the consequences of their parents' mistakes. Madame Bovary is important because it shows the suffering and oppression women encounter and the negative effects it has on the people who surround them.